Okay, it's time for some Kamala battles. I said in my Kamala guide, I want to go throughout some battles, just really show how broken this Pokemon is. And I'm getting trolled already. So people aren't aware yet that the Comatose, you can't do any stats. You can't even put Kamala to sleep because it's technically already asleep. So I'm going to get my stockpiles. I'm going to let him do whatever is one because that team is weird. This guy's showing like how fast the Kamala can amp up. I'm... Ooh, this is where things are about to get some interest. <laughs> some interest. This is where things are about to get interesting. So I don't even know what Smeargle wants to do to me after that. I'm about to max out my defenses, which will cancel out that belly drum. Looks like someone wants a Magikarp sweep, but you're not going to get it against my Kamala, man. And I'm going to talk about some other things. As you notice, I'm running Play Rough and Wish instead of the Return and Earthquake. In, in my uh, moveset guide, I said Return Earthquake with the Normalium Z for all kinds of really fun stuff. Uh, Magikarp used Splash, but nothing happened. What kind of troll battle is this right here? So, I need to go to max attack. I'm at plus three right now, and I'm... I guess I might as well just throw out the, the play roughs. So there's his flail. Oh, it looks like he wanted to, like, get focus sashed. Yeah. So now he wants to do all that damage with the slash right now, or the the, the the flail right now. Why did I say slash? I was, like, trying to say flail, splash, but... Yeah, Kamala just gets the tankiness on, and I think I just ripped apart his whole strategy. So we know that that can't really count, but that was still kind of fun right there. So let's see what Kamala does against, like, more damage and stuff like that. Oh, uh, this guy only has two Pokemon. What am I experiencing right now? Okay, there's a Shinotic. But Shinotic can't put me to sleep. It can, it can Leech Seed me? Okay. So, let's try that again. This, this, this is just weird. Okay. Now we're about to have some fun. Now we're going to see what we get matched up against. Because all that right there looks to be good matchups for the Kamala. And if we can snowball the damage, like that's all that matters. So, let's get a free bulk up against this Garchomp. And I know in my guide I said that Kamala doesn't have sustain. And what I meant by that is like Kamala doesn't have reliable sustain. I find the wish brutal. Okay, he's got flamethrower. What? Okay, I am. I find the wish really brutal to use because you have to give up return. Because if they have a ghost type Pokemon, then you just lose immediately. So I need to play something safe like the uh, play rough. And the play rough is going to limit my coverage, make it to where, like, there's a lot of things in the meta that resist the play rough. Like, Salazzle comes in and it's over, and we just tanked out this weird guard chomp right here. But we had, we had plus two on defenses, and then the outrage didn't do anything. So let's try that again. And see what we get into. Uh, Comfe might be an issue. The leech seed is annoying, but we can still work around the leech seed. And that's why I want to try the wish on the Kamala. Just see what kind of health we can get. But also, you can only heal once every two turns on the Wish. If you have a move like Recover, that's reliable sustain. You can use it over and over again. With Wish, you kind of have to predict, like, okay, I'm going to take two hits before I gain half of my health back. Now, Kamala does get tanky enough to where it matters, and this guy already left. I have no idea what's going on anymore. Uh, shenanigans. <sighs> sure, let's keep going. Let's... Let's keep going. Hopefully, I don't have to juggle two battles in a row right now. But there we go. Let's bring in the Kamala. Oh, this team looks like it might have some power behind it. But if they're going for setup, I might be able to cancel out the setup. And Toxapex, that is a good thing for me to lead into. So I'm going to go for that stop pile just to see what he might switch into. Baneful Bunker's not going to work. Toxic Spike. Oh, give me the free setup because I have Toxapex. You're waste. Okay. Uh, let's do let's do a little bit of PSA. Uh, Toxapex. Or just uh, Toxic Spikes, not good. Because everyone's running Poison-type Pokemon like Slazzle or Toxi Toxapex. So just bring it in, and then they don't get to do anything. Also, I might have screwed up. I want to test something right now. So I want to test how it works if you use Z-Move Stockpile after you've already Stockpiled three times. I wonder if that causes it to fail, because you already have Stockpile three. Or if the Z-Move kind of bypasses that, and you just don't get any effects from it. Now, the problem is if I had Earthquake, I would have gotten this free setup. Toxapex would be dead from the Earthquake. And then I'd be ready to take out his team. But then I'm also lacking like the health and stuff. Because now at any time I can wish I can gain that health. I can kind of perpetually be in very safe health ranges. As I just bulk up to max and then land that play rough. So liquidation not doing anything. Even if I get the defense drop I have a way of patching my defenses right now. So it just kind of shows the opponent needs to lead with something that can deal with the Kamala. Or else you just kind of... You kind of abuse their setup. I feel that Kamala, since it can't be status, you just abuse their setup harder than they can set up. And unfortunately, this battle is now going to last for like 10 years. And I just want to check that one. So I did win that one. Um, Yeah, because if I had Earthquake, that'd be dead. But the play rough is going to be resisted. It's not going to... What? The one offensive move I go for 
That's that's kind of silly right there. And that also wasted a play rough, which I can't be doing right now. So he's going to take like 20%, and then it's going to be really bad. And then we're just locked in battle forever. Because he, he doesn't have damage. I can't lose all my play roughs. And these are some weird situations. So yeah, I was like, ooh, 47% though. Uh, uh, what? I don't know. I don't know what's happening. Because all he has to do is recover, but I outspeed him. So high damage rolls, like if I get 251% damage rolls, if that's a possibility, or if I crit him, if I crit him, then we automatically win that. But if I get crit, then we lose because then I'm missing my defenses. So this is where things are about to get interesting. Oh, wow. Okay, cool. I will take those. Um, I will... Gosh, this would be so bad to throw it away, because, I like, we win now. Uh, wish. Iron defense. Okay. I just, just wanted to make sure, because I don't... Oh, man, I wish I should have, like, figured out how the stockpile Z move works. But, ooh, that's... That is, um, unrealistically lucky right there on the back-to-back -back crits. I don't even need that. I don't even think I needed that. Like, we, he would be max defense, but I'd be very high special defense, and then he wouldn't have a lot of damage against me. But he does have the sustain. So that's where things get bad, and as you can see, like, we're, we're lacking damage right here, for sure. Earthquake would actually be resisted, so we'd two-shot the Delmas, and Delmas doesn't have the sustain. So yeah, this Kamala, let's, it just sets up. So, I want to try some more battles, I want to go against an opponent that leads, like, aggro. But as you can see, Kamala can abuse a lot of things, that if you if you have a lot of tanks, if you have a lot of messing around with the Kamala, like, not messing around, a lot of protection, like, okay, this thing counters Kamala, switch out into something that deals with its counters, then yeah, you, or you can just keep the Kamala in, and Guzzlord is four times weak, and the Nine Tails is frail, so we're just gonna one-shot everything, and he just said, I hate this, oh, the miss on the play rough, unlucky, oh, the hammer arm, good damage, like, if I get crit, if I get crit, it, it's over right there, but I think it just kind of shows, like, Kamala, it's interesting, because if I had Return, Return would definitely be KOing a lot of these things, but we're still getting KOs at the max play rough. So it kind of shows that if we still get to max, this set works. If we don't get to max, then we are going to be a little more frail or against Pokemon that resist us and stuff. But yeah, this is actually, like, not a bad case for the Wish. I've been in some bad case battles for the Wish already, and it's just the way that the the whole the sustain plays out. Because, like, Normalium Z is mostly your only sustain off of this. So I'm going to keep going right now. I'm going to keep going. And we'll just play till we lose. Or play till really screwy things happen. There we go. Now here's where we get into some problems. Incineroar has Darkest Lariat. And that screws our day up. Other than that, that's a lot of damage. Um, If Komo... -Oh, is that... Yeah, it's called Komo, -Oh, right? Uh, I, or Hakmo. No, it's Hakmo is the second one. And Jangmo -Oh is the first one. So that is Komo. -Oh. I'm still trying to get those o -O O's in my, in my uh, mental thought process right now. There we go. There's a Thunderbolt. Whoa! Okay, too much damage. I just did the guide on Vikavolt today. Okay, we found we found a limitation of the Komala. That just hurts too much. And we don't have like a Volt Absorb. We don't have anything to really deal with this Vikavolt. So, we die now. Like, okay. Alright. Oh, maybe, maybe just not a straight up play till we lose. But, I don't have much that can deal with this. Alright, so I'm not really doing serious battles right now. I'm just, like, trying to test out the Kamala. So, 145 base sp sp base with a life orb is, is kind of um, where the Kamala stops to succeed. But also, I have a careful nature and full defensive investment. Now, let's see how we do against Magnezone. Magnezone plays a little differently. So, we'll see what the damage... This is perfect. So, that's not perfect. Oh, the special defense drop is so bad. Oh, and that counts for a stockpile, too. Okay, that's really bad. So, ooh, that did a really good chunk of damage as well. So what I really want to show off was that with the Kamala, if you take about 40% on your first hits, you're going to be just fine. So there's the Embor, and now we have two defense, and this is where we Z stockpile. So Z stockpile. Wow, we're faster. That, that surprised Kamala speed. It, it gets me every time. So how much would we have taken? The overheat to 23%. What health range were we at? I think that might have been close to a KO or something. So we're at three stockpiles, so we're done right there. And so using the overheat, now I gotta go into the bulk ups. And if I had Earthquake, Embor would be pretty basic. Ooh, ooh, the Focus Blast. So here's actually a beneficial situation, because now that we used up our sustain, the Wish is helping us. Okay, right, maybe, maybe I didn't give enough credit to the Wish. I've just been in some really bad situations, because you can only use it once every other turn. You have to lose that extra move slot, because I'd be able to crush this Embor. 
So now we're just playing bulk ups and wishes and seeing where the damage goes. Earthquake. Oh, no, you can't play physical against me right now because I have the mad defenses. And you also have to kind of use bulk up at the right time compared to when you use the other moves. So there's the bulk up. Greninja's not going to be able to do anything to us. And this play rough will one hit KO. Yeah. So the super effective hits are still good. Their ice beams, nothing. The play rough, super. All right. Looking good. Looking good. Looks like we might have something right now. There's the Crocodile. Oh, the Intimidate trying to cut our attack down a bit. Uh, Fire Fang. Yeah, defensively. So his team is like physical. Ex uh. Oh, the Magnazone sucks though. And the Embor, it sucks. Like, I'm going to, I'm going to wish. So with the wish, if you play it, yeah, I guess you just have to really play the wish correctly. So Kamal does get sustain. I just meant that it doesn't have reliable sustain and it can go wrong, but it looks like it doesn't really go too wrong. So we'll be okay. And wish comes true. So we can stay at a pretty high perpetual health right now and then just start throwing out play roughs. I don't know why Decidueye is going for that sleep talk. Did he ex... I, I've, I've shown all my moveset, so I don't have yawn or anything. There's a shadow ball, but I'm immune. And looks like Decidueye didn't have anything against me. Okay then. Magnezone. Ah, here's where I think we need to bulk up, get to max before we even try anything funny. And now, because I'm going to be taking two hits of damage, I might as well go for Wish, try to stay up at that full. I just, ah, oh, I wish I had the Earthquake. I wish I had other, other options. But looks like it's still working. Like, if you still hit max, oh no, the play rough missed. If you still hit those max stats, we'll be just fine. So really, the only weakness to Kamala is taunts and critical hits. And one of those is like super RNG. And so few people run the taunt, taunt is effectively RNG. So let's just max out. And he went for the roost. Not going to get anything. There's the bulk up. And now let's go. All right, just KO to the Aerodactyl. Um, you might have noticed that my name has changed. Now, I did that because my accounts keep getting hacked and I don't really care at all. So I'm just going to do be doing like burner accounts in every video. So someone's probably going to steal the names of the, of the accounts I use and then try to like troll. But I'm just, I'm just, uh, I don't care. I'm not pushing for ladder. I'm not taking it seriously. I'm mostly testing right now. So I don't want anything like tied to my name super because the showdown community is very toxic. They'll try to use things like that against me. But there we go. Looks like we just get the free Kamala sweep right now. And we'll do one more. I think one more battle will be fair. Kind of showing what's going on with the Kamala. Ooh, the crit though. But now we just bring in anything. Cartana. Sacred Sword. GG. And let's add on one more battle with the Kamala. Just kind of show it off right now. Uh, hopefully we get some high damage. The Mudsdale matchup. Sure, let's go show this. Let's go see what the damage happens. Because I'm trying to look for mid to high, but not like super uber high ranges of damage. And just getting the Kamala set up on that. So there's the bulk up. There's the close combat. Ooh, this is good. This is like showing that close combat. So we outsped him on the bulk up, which means we want to stockpile. Because we have the speed priority right now. So he's doing lots of damage, but he is slower than us. Close combat, we tank that, and now we Z stockpile. And he's losing defenses. So Z stockpile. So that means we have to bulk up, play rough him. We just bulk up, take him out right now. Hmm. Yeah, and then we're taking less damage. Oh, the payback. How do you throw out the payback right there? I, I guess he didn't want to lower his defenses anymore and expect this to survive. So this is actually... Wow, okay. It's it's so weird. I, I, I was wrong about Wish. Very wrong about Wish. So there's close combat. Wish is going to come in, and then we go KO it. We get our health back. And that is going to be pretty strong right there. I'd prefer to get more bulk ups, but I'm not risking a crit against this guy. Like, if, if he... Yeah, there's there's so much that, there's too much that could go wrong if he gets a crit while I'm trying to set up bulk ups and stuff. Other Pokemon I might be able to survive the crit against. I'm going to preemptive wish just to scout what the Komodo wants to do. Because I have high special defense. He has the break, Brick Break. I think if the close combat isn't working, the Brick Break isn't going to work as well. Okay, good. So it's getting close though, we, but we, we snuck in that little bit of extra defense. There's the wish. He doesn't have the Dragon Dance. The Brick Break is interesting tech, but just kind of shows like the amount of super effective hits against Komala is what makes it so strong. And now we abs- Oh wow, his team is so weak to the play rough. No! The Sash! Oh, wait, we got the attack drop. Oh, sick. That means, yeah, we play the Wish and get full health. And we're immune to Toxic. That's an interesting little Komo'o right there. So this is, how it, this is how it works. I think this is a fine example of what the Komala just does. Like, it sets up, the opponent panics, and then you win. And let's go and turn on that timer. So there we go, guys. Uh... 
Waiting it out. Dragon Claw. Uh, it's, it's, he doesn't have too many options. Play rough, getting our health back. So we're at full health. We have plus 2.5 on the attack. So that's like plus three on the attack. And we can one-shot the Guzzlord. Four times super effective. Hmm. Really no options. Uh, Celesteela would have been like the good one for him to rush into. Because that thing's too tanky. Like it's Steel type. It's going to resist us. He decided to just blow it up anyways. Mimikyu is going to be free. Bruxish is going to be free. And I think that is going to be the game right there. Uh, let's damage check on the play rough. Plus three. Or not plus three. Plus four for the times three attack. And will we one hit KO it? Mimikyu can be tanky. I think that's that's it. So good video, guys. I want to show you that Gomala's tanky. It works. It works. I know I said it works like a million times, but there's people doubting, you know, all my videos. I call Pokemon OP and then everyone makes fun of it. But Gomala is truly broken, which is why I had to like do the video proof for it. I love the set I came up with and it honestly really works. There's the play rough. There's, yeah. All right, play rough still KOs at plus uh, four right there. So I think that can still be pretty solid. We guys enjoy the video. Hope you all have a nice day. Thank you very much for watching.